Hello everybody, this is Kiko from True North Audio and just doing a short little video to show you how to install and fix contact and decent sampler instruments if you're having any trouble. So right now I have Tongues Mini, which is the free tongue drum that we just put out. I have the folder organized such that you have a contact and a decent sampler subfolder as well as the samples on their own. Now, the reason I've done this is because the samples take up a considerable amount of space, and it's easier than having each instrument individually packaged, as it just creates more data and it's going to take longer to download for everybody. But the downside of this is that it does come with some organization. And if you're like me, you're probably going to be keeping your contact and decent sampler instruments in a different place. Wherever that is, doesn't matter. I'm going to give you kind of a brief run through of problems you might run into if you're trying to install them. So first things first, we have the folder here. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna say, we're gonna pretend this is the contact one. We're gonna create a decent sampler one. And we're gonna move everything we need into those folders. And of course it'll take a minute, so just be patient. Now, when you're doing this, of course, you're going to want that sample folder in both of those folders. Each of them are going to be using the same samples, and both of them should have the same name for the sample folder. So now we go in. We have the contact folder here now. We've got the samples, and we have the contact. If we go in, you've got all the parts of the contact instrument, the NKC, the NKR, the NKI, which is the instrument itself, and the resources folder, which has the UI elements. But if we launch it up, we're going to have this little screen it doesn't know where those samples are. Now, typically what you can do is just go through, find the folder, select the folder, and tell it where they live. Sometimes that won't work. Sometimes you need to find the samples. So you find the folder with the samples and it'll load up. But even if you do that, sometimes you're gonna have that problem every time you open it. In that case, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually move the sample folder into the contact folder. Usually that'll do the job, but sometimes it won't. If it doesn't, you're gonna look for the folder again. You're gonna load it up and click on this little tool icon here. You're gonna come in, select this button, you're gonna go down, you're gonna create a resource folder. Give it the same name as the instrument or the NKR. Yes, you want to replace it. You're basically telling it to look in a new place every time. You're gonna close that. You're gonna go up to the save icon up here. You're gonna save the edited instrument. You're going to make sure that you have patch only and uncheck the absolute sample paths. Once again, replace. And now that you've done that, it's going to be looking for those files on your computer in the new location. And it loads up perfectly fine. I'm gonna come into Decent Sampler. You're gonna run into this. You're gonna have the same issue. Now, if you search for the files like that, you will find them and it will play but the problem you're gonna run into is still gonna be errors occasionally. The way to fix this one is a lot simpler. Once again, like with contact, you wanna make sure that the folder for the samples is in the correct place. In this case, you just take it and drag it in with the rest. Because the DS preset file, the actual instrument part, is programmed to be looking for that folder in this directory and it loads up just fine. If you've downloaded the piano book version, the way that one works is to have all the files in the same folder. All of these files are going to work. The trick with this one is that you just want to copy all of the relevant files into their relevant spot. Now, the one thing to make note of with this is that both of these instruments have a resource folder. The resource folder in here is for both instruments. So you want to make sure to copy that into both folders. If you look at the resource folder now, this top one is for the decent sampler. These three subfolders are for the contact. 
And that's just a result of how each instrument is programmed to look for its parts in one folder. So just make sure that if you have the piano book version and you're copying all the instrument parts to their respective folders, make sure that resource folder and that samples folder is copied into both locations. 